Gene editing is itself not either bad or good. It depends on the application. Let me be very clear. There's something called the germline, the part of the DNA that gets passed from generation to generation. That's what you think about if you're doing editing of an embryo or a sperm or an egg. But the rest of the cells in our body, we call them somatic cells, are in a very different place. They're not going to get passed on. It's not all the cells in your body. Germline gene editing, we believe, is not yet an effort that should be undertaken for humans. We don't understand the safety issues. If something goes wrong and that gets passed to future generations, that's clearly bad. And it's pretty fundamental. I'm talking about changing our very essence, our own instruction book for biology being tinkered with. Do we know enough to do that? Does that cross a line that most people would find um, uncomfortable? I think they would. In the United States, that kind of work is illegal. In China, it was done for two little girls by a Chinese scientist who I believe really violated all of the ethical principles that should have been at work. And we have considered that to be, hopefully, an egregious action by a rogue scientist that will not be repeated by others. We need to take the time now to really understand if that's ever something we want to do again, and if so, under what kind of oversight, and that needs to be an international discussion.